I really hope you clicked on this video because you hate paying property taxes. I don't like paying property taxes. I mean, I don't really know who does, right? So, if you're an investor out there who hates paying property taxes and you want to know how you don't have to do it, I got you the way to do it. Let's check it out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. I'm James Wise. This is the MLS Search and Analysis Show. If you like what I'm talking about, I hope you stick around. Today I'm working with a guy named Jim. And if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one like Jim is doing, send my team an email. We'll talk to you about the process, right? Because I'm going to give you information, Jim, and then my team. We could handle your investment for you. We could be your boots on the ground team. Your full core four, right? Property management, maintenance, construction, insurance, the whole shebang. We do it all, right? But today specifically, Jim, we're talking about getting you some investments, you don't have to pay taxes on, right? That's great. I hate taxes. I'm sure you hate taxes. Everybody hates taxes. Nobody loves taxes except for the, the Democratic politicians. They love taxes. Well, they love collecting taxes. I'm, I'm sure they don't really like paying them either, right? But property taxes, that's a big thing that hurts our return on investment, right? And uh, that's what we try to do. First and foremost, that's the point of the show, is to try to teach you guys how to increase your income. Right, increase the money you're making, increase the profits from your real estate. Right, and one way to do that is to increase revenue. One way to increase revenue is uh, going with a short term rental property, right? Like an Airbnb, a VRBO. Right, another way, another way to increase your profit is to decrease your expenses. Right, decrease your expenses. One of the biggest expenses is property taxes. So, what I got for you today, Jim, is I have. A property that we're going to run as an Airbnb, therefore increasing the income, but we're also going to get it to qualify for a rare, a very, very rare 15-year tax abatement, thereby really decreasing the cost. That's pretty much the highest cost you're going to ever have with one of your investment properties, right? So that, folks, is a recipe for a lot of profit. And we're going to get into exactly how that's done on a property that I got ready to go for you, Jim, right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Now we're going to get into the details. Break out the numbers. Break out the properties, right? Because we're talking about Airbnb investing completely passively. And we're talking about getting properties that qualify for a tax abatement, right? This tax abatement, folks, this is where it's at. This is the base knees, okay? Now, to understand this tax abatement, why this tax abatement's being offered, and all of that, you need to have a little understanding of Cleveland. Luckily for you, you're working with me. That's probably why you're working with me, right? Because that's what we do. Holton Wise, largest scattered site investment portfolio in the Cleveland market. No company of this type is doing more business than we are. That's why you guys are coming here, right? So the first thing I want to talk about is the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. I've published this guide, shit, I don't know, five or six years ago at this point. Uh, it's linked below, and of course, it's on the Tools and Resources tab on HoltonWise.com. I graded all the neighborhoods on an A to F scale. A neighborhoods, highest prices, lowest risk. F neighborhoods, lowest prices, highest risk. Now, what type of neighborhood you're interested in, it's you know going to vary by investor, right? My personal belief, I don't say you, you can't do this grade, you can only do this grade. Now, I, I, I got a, a long, uh, diversified list of types of investments I do, right? But there's certain strategies that I think work better in certain neighborhoods, right? For my long-term rentals, my multifamily rentals, I love me some C&D, right? I really like 
uh, the Metro Health area, right? It's called Clark Fulton. I love that neighborhood for my C&D rentals the most, right? That's probably my favorite neighborhood because uh, there's so much money being injected into that neighborhood, right? So there's like a whole ton of D-grade neighborhoods that I think you put in some Section 8 tenants and low multifamily prop, uh, rental properties right around Cleveland. There's so many D neighborhoods to choose from, but that's my favorite, right? So in that aspect, I love it for D. Now, we're talking Airbnb in this show right now. We're talking about Airbnb investing, right? Short-term rental investing. I do not do Airbnb rental investing in that neighborhood because it's currently a D-grade neighborhood. Maybe if it comes to an A-grade neighborhood one day, I would because I believe that doing Airbnb short-term investing in low-income neighborhoods is too risky, doesn't make sense. I don't like it. So what I like to do is push it into nicer neighborhoods, okay? Now, this kind of leads me into why this tax abatement exists, right? There are neighborhoods in the city of Cleveland that Cleveland has gentrified that they want to see pop. They want to see, have awesome stuff happening to them, right? Neighborhoods like Ohio City, Tremont, Gordon Square, University Circle, Little Italy. Neighborhoods like this, right? Where you've seen gentrification, you've seen new development, and those are the hot neighborhoods. That's also why I really like the Clark Fulton neighborhood because it's really close to all them, and they're pumping all this money into that neighborhood because the idea, the hope of investing in there is one day it'll be an A-grade neighborhood like the neighborhoods I just mentioned, okay? But it's not there yet, so that's why I don't recommend any investors try to run any properties in that neighborhood on an Airbnb-type platform because it's too risky today. Ten years from now, maybe. Right now, the only thing that makes sense in that neighborhood is going to be some Section 8 action, okay? Are you with me? So, that leads me to this property. 1862 East 85th Cleveland 44106, right? They just dropped the price down to 295000 I think we got to come close to that. I want to see us pick it up at two ninety. Now, this property is going to qualify for a 15-year tax abatement, okay? What that means is you do not have to pay property taxes on the home. You only have to pay it on the lot, and the lot's worth almost nothing. So the property taxes right now are uh, pulling up the chart. As you can see, these are your fixed and variable expense estimates, okay, for running this property. You see, you only got to pay $401 in property taxes on this for the next 15 years, right? The property tax rate in Cleveland is 2.79%, right? So you're looking, you'd be looking at like you're saving like 10 Gs, right? The reason for this abatement is they're taking these certain types of neighborhoods they want to have value created they want them to gentrify right and we're right here downtown like check this out right this is gnarly okay you got all your downtown action over here and then you got university circle in little italy right here and then you got this house right so you will see some vacant lots okay but if you pull this back a little bit you go up here into how okay if you watch some of my other shows when people try to buy properties up in here i pull up the google earth and i show them all the vacant lots and i'm like don't ever Buy there if you're trying to get quick, simple cash flow right now because a lot of times you guys are trying to buy properties that are costing you more than they would be worth on an ARV type basis. You couldn't sell a new build up here in the Howe neighborhood for the price that we're talking here. It just wouldn't work, right? These are This is like a very blighted area and the prices are remaining low, okay? The difference between that and where we are, okay, is we are in the action right here, okay? There was some torn down lots they have now gentrified it this is an area with development right look at all this stuff right here look at this huge complex we are literally on a main road in the downtown stretch right like we are literally in everything right so you see this street ah crap these houses like look this this particular google earth image is actually older than the one from the main street right let's go back to that so you can see it right you see they're building up the whole friggin' street over here. Let me get to it. Hold on. I just had it. There we go. You see that? Look, it's it's amazing. Poof, they come up. So they're building up the whole street, right? So it's a safe investment to build on these types of vacant lots here. Developers have gone and they're buying these vacant lots and they're building these homes, right? Because Cleveland wants to juice this neighborhood. Cleveland wants all this new development to continue, right? So the developers, they pick up the lots, they start building here. They build these houses that qualify for these tax abatements, which you're about to get, right? 15 years. The house has to be uh, a new build, new construction. It's got to follow green guidelines, right? Think about, uh, you know, 
green building stuff, right? It's got to be eco-friendly, right? Okay, so the reason that these neighborhoods, even though you can technically get this tax abatement, like in a rough area like that Howe area, right? The reason it makes sense here, though, is because everyone around it has already committed to building it up, and you see a lot going on, right? Like, this wouldn't make sense in how, because you're just like one new house in the middle of fucking just the ghetto, right? This is not the case, right? You're literally on the main drag, okay? Like, look at this. We are in downtown, right? This is where people want to be. Look at all this development. If you cruise down here, right, you're already, like, in the downtown structure, right? You see all this stuff? This is where people want to be. And coincidentally, that works so good for the Airbnb platform, right? Because that's people vacationing. So when they're vacationing, where do they want to be? They want to be close to the action. And that, that is what we're providing them, right? So I want you guys to really just understand what you're looking at, right? Like when you see vacant lots, you got to understand what's going on around them, right? When you see vacant lots, do you want to be in walking distance to this or walking distance to more vacant lots and blight, right? That's why this makes sense. That's why this is an A-grade neighborhood. And that's why the city is offering you these types of incentives, right? Because they committed to doing that to get to this development, right? And look at this house. Look what you're rewarded with, dude. A friggin' brand new house, right? Everything is new. We're talking about capital expenditure items. You don't have to worry about it, right? You got 30 years left on that roof. You got 30 years on the hot water tank, or 15 usually. 30 years on the furnace, right? Your concrete's all brand new, dude. Like... Just so you know, they're still not going to finish the basement. You get the two-story living rooms, right? The wow factors. Everything is turnkey, 100% turnkey. The newest, nicest fixtures. As you can see, right, these photos were taken when the, the builder's actually finishing up, right? But it is 100% turnkey, ready to rock and roll. Low-flow toilets, brand-new kitchens, right? This is everything your Airbnb guests are going to want. Location is premium. They got a lot of stuff. Uh, to do, right? This is where they want to be. They're coming to Cleveland. They're close to the Q. They're close to the Brown Stadium. They're close to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They're close to all the friggin' action. And you folks, because it's in Cleveland proper, you get to benefit from that tax abatement. So I believe we could pick it up at 290 and then we only got to furnish it, right? $25,000 worth of furnishings. That takes our total investment up to three fifteen. dollars Now, we should be able to rent this consistently at $400 a night, okay? Now, in Cuyahoga County, this is short-term rentals. Dude, there ain't no such thing as like 95% occupancy, right? That's not how it works, okay? But we should reasonably expect roughly 62% occupancy, right? So on full occupancy, we'd be bringing in 12900 after you add in the guest cleaning fees. But that is not a practical uh, scenario for you guys, of course, we have to factor in that 38% vacancy plus all the other fixed and variable expense estimates, including my company operating this for you. As you know, when you buy one of these properties, Holton Wise, we can and will manage the asset for you. We don't have to if you don't want to. If you want to do it on your own, you can, but we didn't get to where we are by not knowing what we're doing. We are your boots on the ground team. We are your core four. So we will operate the whole thing for you, thousand bones a month, right? So after everything is all said and done, I anticipate this particular property bringing you a little bit over $61,000 for the year. Your $315,000 investment, that's going to equate to ninety-seven and a half dollars out of your pocket. We get a lender in the game to loan you $217,500. That should all pencil out to roughly a 52% cash on cash return, right? Then what do you want to do? My opinion, I think the best way to do this is you hold it for 15 years. Suck out all that value. Suck out that 15 years of free taxes. And then at that point, you still got an A-grade neighborhood property, all that new development. I would imagine, based on all the new development happening around this area, you're going to see a hell of a lot of appreciation, right? So talk about a cash out. Talk about an internal rate of return, right? You make a 52% return on your investment while holding it for 15 years, not paying any taxes, right when your returns are going to dip a little bit because you'll have to start paying taxes again. You cash out at a premium. That's why I think this type of investment makes a hell of a lot of sense, and that's why I think we got to be aggressive on price. They're asking 295 They were priced considerably higher. I think we come in at 290 I think we could take it down, and I think it makes a lot of sense for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.